So now that we've done a flush head fastener on a flat plate, let's do a composite lock on a semi-curved plate, okay? So again, step one, we're gonna set the parameters, right? So we come over to the home screen, hit part number, hit the drop down, we're gonna select MBF 2112-8, that is a titanium tangent head composite lock. Once that's loaded in, it's gonna tell us we're gonna to cut to a depth of 110 thousandths, so it should take about five seconds, and we gotta use a 0208 plus electrode. Now the plus size electrodes are there for your blind bolt style fasteners, because nominally these are a little bit larger than traditional, right? So a quarter inch uh, composite lock is something around like a 261 instead of a true 250. So instead of going to a first oversize, we've got a plus electrode, which is right in between a first oversize and a nominal electrode. So step two, install the electrode. I've got my 0208 plus electrode here based off the home screen where it tells me to put on. I'm gonna pull the trigger again and run my conducting tube all the way out until I get that red light. Thread it on. Use my torque wrench to install. And then again, since we're using vacuum flush head, I'll use my vacuum flush head adapter. Verifying my O-ring is good working order. Put it on, quarter inch turn, and then hit that bottom button to retract it all the way back and wait for my green light. So next step, we've, so we've selected our tooling for the nose piece of the gun. Now we're gonna go and use the OVL to cut this fastener up. Because this is a slightly curved surface, the OVL is gonna work a little bit better for you. We're gonna connect our vacuum module. And then bring our OVL over to right about where the fastener is at. Okay, now, since this is a curved surface, we need to make sure that we are normal to the, to the surface. To do that, we grab a any old vacuum flush adapter, it doesn't matter what size it is. We're gonna put them into place, loosen up our spherical washer stack up, and we're gonna pull up on the, on the arm here, on the tool, and push down on the adapter. That's gonna seat us down nice and steady. I give it a nice little rock to make sure that I am in, indeed perpendicular to the surface. Then I wanna do a quick check to make sure I'm good. Once I know that I'm normal to the surface, I'm ready to locate the hand tool and put it in and cut. So I'm normal. Now we're gonna use our mechanical locating system. So because this is a composite lock, we've got these nice little cruciforms on top that we can use to actually locate mechanically on the head of a flush fastener. So I use the size eight. It's got a black dot on it and it says eight on the top. I'm gonna sight down through the glass, hitting my flap on the side here and do a minute adjustment until it locks into place. The whole goal here is to get this as close as we can to that fastener, make sure we're normal and then adjust a little bit to get your uh, centering, right? So now we know we're, we're still normal to the skin because we did it over the fastener head and now we're centered because we're locked into place and that's not moving. Remove him. And we can put the hand tool in and go to work. Pushing down to make that nice watertight seal. Pull the trigger to start the cut. Let it hold for three seconds. And we're good. If a little bit of excess water is there, no problem, just wipe, wipe it away with the rag and you're fine. Now I take my air punch once again. I've already got the eight plus nose piece put on. So locate center on the fastener, pull the trigger, out comes the fastener, and left behind is the head. So one more time, if you're gonna move on to the next cut, you know, generally speaking in a situation like this, when all these fasteners are on the same plane, you won't have to do very many adjustments. But if you get into some different contours and the contour changes, you want to adjust every so often. So to do that, again, we take any old adapter, 
put it into place. We're going to loosen up the head, lifting up on the arm and pushing down on the adapter. We're going to find our nice center line there. Tighten this down. Verify that we are, in fact, normal to the surface. Locate, put the hand tool in, and do your cutting. It's very important to make sure you're normal to the surface. So always four or five fasteners in, check, make sure you're still nice and normal to the skin, and uh, readjust as necessary, and continue on. And to do that again, we're loosening, lifting up here, pushing down on the, on the adapter, and tightening, locating, putting the hand tool in and going.